In my previous pedestrian detection video where I tested my car's ability to run over my wife, I pointed out how far Autopilot was able to see my wife standing on the side of the road and thought it was pretty amazing. It saw her well before I could in real life. There were more than a few comments on that video that says it was probably the radar picking her up and not the cameras. There was also a lot of disagreement as to how it actually worked, so I thought it'd make a pretty interesting test to tape up some of the cameras and radar to see the effects on the full self-driving beta and the visualizations. But first, I wanted to give a huge shout out to my Patreons. With a channel this focused, I'm never going to be a big YouTuber, and literally none of you are under 18 years old, which honestly saddens me for some reason. Kids born now are probably never going to have a reason to own a car. Anyway, uh, thank you for supporting a small channel, you guys. Thanks. Autopilot has a few ways of sensing the world around it. It has a forward-facing radar behind the bumper, capable of seeing objects 160 meters away, 12 ultrasonic sensors that can see objects within 8 meters, and 8 cameras around the car looking in all directions. There is a rear camera which can see up to 50 meters behind, rearward-looking side cameras that can see 100 meters behind, B-pillar cameras that can see 60 meters to the side, and three front cameras. The main forward-facing camera can see 150 meters, the wide angle can see 60 meters, and the narrow forward camera is capable of seeing an impressive 250 meters in front of it. So what happens when I ruin all of this engineering genius with a couple pieces of tape and some tinfoil? Let's find out. The first thing I did was tape up both B-pillar cameras as you can see here so that there's no way they could see anything. Then I drove around for a while to see if I noticed anything. The first thing that I noticed is obviously it's displaying a warning message that there's multiple cameras blocked or blinded, which is appreciated. The more surprising thing is that it's actually showing cars going by pretty smoothly, almost like if the cameras weren't blocked. So it is a little jumpy, but this tells me that Autopilot does have some type of memory, at least for cars. The same is not true for pedestrians, however. You'll see as I approach this pedestrian, as soon as she gets out of view of my front forward-facing cameras, she disappears off the visualization. Now we're going to tape up those rearward-facing side cameras and see if there's any changes. As you can see, the visualizations behind the car do get a little bit more messed up now, and the pedestrian is still visible on the display, and then just goes out of view of those forward-facing cameras. So Autopilot is completely blind to things around it right now, minus that wide-angle camera. Seeing the cars disappear on the visualization a little bit earlier now makes me second-guess my previous statement. It might actually be that forward-facing wide-angle camera that's visualizing all this. You can almost see the exact moment when the wide-angle camera loses view of this intersection and then the B-pillar camera is blinded. It also does make this right turn, which is pretty interesting. Now let's look at how it deals with a left-hand turn. So surprisingly, Autopilot stays pretty smooth in regards to the input. Also, that wide-angle camera is pretty impressive on how much it can visualize. Maybe the radar is working here as well, I'm not really sure. Now let's put a piece of tape over both the narrow camera and that wide-angle camera to see what happens. So Autopilot still does work. I am able to engage it, but we get this red flashing from the top of the instrument cluster, which I have never seen before, so spooky. The red message that was displaying before this one on the instrument cluster said traffic control feature may be degraded, uh, and some of the cameras were blocked or blinded. Also, I'm not sure if you can see it in the steering wheel, but Autopilot is performing a little bit more nervously now. It feels a bit twitchier behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. 
very twitchy, does make the left. It was safe, so I let it do it, but surprising that it made the left. Now let's block the main camera and see how it performs with just the wide angle and the super narrow. For those wondering if the full self-driving beta can visualize dogs, the answer is yes. Check that out. Awesome. I tried to activate autopilot here, but it immediately kicked me out and told me to take over immediately. Second time seems to work a little better though. Autopilot's feeling shakier than ever. Yeah, it's starting to seem like Autopilot does rely on that main forward-facing camera quite a bit. Now I'm going to tape up both the main camera and the narrow camera. Only the wide-angle camera is going to have a view. Keep in mind that the B-pillar cameras and the rearward-facing cameras are still covered through all these tests. No, Autopilot is having none of that. So now let's try the opposite. Let's try to block the main and the wide angle and just leave the super narrow one. So very similar result. Now let's try taping up everything except for the main camera. Obviously, Autopilot is handicapped to an extreme amount right now, but I'm pretty surprised on how it's getting through here. Also, apologies that the instrument cluster is so bright. I forgot to lower the brightness on that. It'll get better in later clips. I'm also going to zoom out a bit here so you can kind of see the twitchiness of the steering wheel. Autopilot was not comfortable with this. Now I'm going to tape over all three cameras and see what happens. All right, it's apparent I didn't do a good enough job covering these cameras, so uh, let's try this again. This will do the trick, right? No, Autopilot is still able to somehow see things. I'm gonna do this job right, give me one second. Okay, surely now there is no way for these cameras to see anything. All right, it's still seeing stuff. I'm really not even sure what to say here. I have no idea how it's seeing everything. I made sure to cover every inch of that, uh, of, of the three forward facing cameras. And you can go back and look in the picture. There shouldn't be anything that's exposed, even in the bottoms or anything, but somehow it's still picking up some of like these curbs and stuff. Do you think this is the radar at work? And like, how is it visualizing the road ahead? I just don't understand um, this one. This is actually a pretty confusing result to me. I have no idea how it's seeing what it's seeing right now. But this does give me a fair bit of confidence that no matter what happens to your autopilot cameras, even if they all go blind simultaneously, it can probably still find its way to the edge of the road and pull over, so super nice to see. Now let's get into why this video started in the first place and do some pedestrian visualization tests. I took all the tape off the cameras and now it's just the radar that's blocked. 
so the tinfoil does throw the ultrasonic sensors for a bit of a loop, um, but it, the radar is completely blocked. So let's go ahead and see when it starts showing here on the visualization. You can also see the radar detecting a ghost car right in front of me. Does start displaying the pedestrian before I can see her. So pretty impressive. I'll go ahead and just keep moving forward so you can see how far away it actually picked her up from. Now I'm going to tape over the entire right hand side of the car again, so both the B pillar and the rearward facing camera, and just leave the narrow camera visible and see how early it's able to pick her up. So with only the narrow camera, it actually picks her up quite a bit later than with all three forward-facing cameras. Now I'm going to leave all the cameras taped up except for the wide-angle one, the forward-facing wide-angle, and we're going to see how early it picks her up. And as you can see from this result, it looks like when only the wide-angle camera is visible, Autopilot's able to pick her up from a lot further away. I have no idea how this is the result. Uh, maybe it was some error in my testing methods. I would have put all my money on the narrow cam being able to see her super far away in the dark. But in this case, it looks like it was actually the wide angle camera able to see her. So I'm unsure of this result. I hate to end these videos with more questions than answers, but it looks like that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do today. Then the last thing I figured I would try is just driving around with the radar blocked. So autopilot behaved pretty normally until a car coming in the opposite direction passed by. Then the visualization started glitching out and it required me to take over immediately. After that happened, it would not allow me to engage autopilot or cruise control. So how do you think these tests went? Was there better methods or other things I could have done for this test? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.